Mercury's tits, Arthur. I ask you to dress nice, and you show up like you're going to a goddamn luau. Oh, apologies, Maddie. You know, some would find my shirt light-spirited and fun. But oh, this must be so embarrassing for you. You said tropical-themed. Well, I merely suggested- Piping hot goose coming through! Ugh. Cornelius, where's your little friend Mira? Isn't she your date? I tried to invite her, but... Oh, you have some balls on you, Rat Trapper! Hi, Albert. Is Mira here? No! And I'll be damned if my daughter hangs out with some sicko who sucks dead guys' faces! Th that was an accident. Try picking up chicks in a graveyard, you necrophiliac! Get lost! But I... 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 And scene! But it didn't work out. Count your lucky stars. Relationships are 10% love and 90% being bitched at. I'm gonna go. I feel a little out of place dressed like a cabana boy. Enjoy your weekend off! And most importantly, enjoy being single. You do realize I'm into this sort of thing? Homemade hunch punch. Hmm. Most kind of you. Gods, this party is lame. Ugh, the Emperor's parties always suck. Where are our drinks? Is this guy dull? Room may fall before these drinks are made. I'm sure that would please you, good Amadeus. Oh, to the contrary, Emperor Helena. We were just singing your praises. I'm sure. Priscilla, that's quite the fur. It's Red Panda from the East. One of only three in the entire Empire. And your minotaur fur is lovely for last year's style, but I imagine it's difficult to keep a keen fashion sense when you're busy leading an empire. <laughs> hmm. I do sometimes envy women who have the time to spend their lives following the latest fashion trends. Die! Die, you filthy ball! Oops! Old Senator's having another flashback. How many must I kill? Excuse me. Oh, those pompous pricks! Coming into my palace and insulting me at my own party over a fur! The audacity! Who do they think they are? <laughs> I imagine it's hard to keep a keen fashion sense. Blah, blah, blah. I want them dead! Priscilla is the heir to Pompeii, and good Amadeus is the Speaker of the Senate. You know we can't kill them. Then I want to one-up them. I'm not usually one for aristocratic dick-measuring contests, but those fucking Amadeuses. What's the rarest fur in the world? The most exotic creature you know of. There is a beast that survives in the savage Northlands. Its fur is so white, it's blinding. Which creature is this? The Great Northern Snow Yeti. Excellent. You and Cornelius will procure it immediately. There's a catch. The Yeti no longer roams the wild. The northern barbarians hold him in captivity and believe him a sacred animal. They'd never part with the beast. No weight of coin could persuade them. Who said anything about coin, Professor? You got the coin? Make sure she'll love me for eternity. These babies never fail. Now listen, I'm gonna flush her out the front door, but you gotta be the first person she sees after I pop her. I know how this works. Be quick about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumpy slob telling me how to do my job. Burglar! What the hell happened up there? Any last words? Kaboom, baby. <laughs> oh, I feel like a motel mattress. Oh, yeah. What happened to you? Uh, 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 client confidentiality. Let's just say, uh, I ain't never bought the love it worse than this morning. What about that time you accidentally helped that Oedipus guy bang his mom and then kill his dad? Technically, he killed his dad, then banged his mom. I feel like that's even worse. Cornelius, emergency mission. Let's go. Why have the weekend off? Not anymore. 
We're headed north to Naba Yeti. I'll explain the rest on the way. Whoa, whoa, wait, you ditching? It's wing night! Sorry, Q. Some other time. I gotta go. <laughs> Some friend. So, we convinced the barbarians that we're Germanic wine merchants. That's correct. And... and then what? And then what? And then they drink the wine, which of course I've laced with sedatives. They'll immediately pass out, giving us more than enough time to grab the Yeti and be on our merry way. Oh, for fuck's sake. What was your plan, huh? Thought you could have your way with me? You sick son of a bitch! Are you insane? What are you talking about? Your satchel! It's filled with nothing but dildos, lotions, and restraints! Ugh, oh, this is Cupid's bag. If you have Cupid's bag... <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Speak when spoken to, you pathetic worm. Oh, yeah. Hmm, kinky. What? What? No, 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 wait, wait, what's the safe word? Uh, uh fr fried bananas. Wait, wait, no, uh, but banana sandwich. Wait, uh, something with bananas. Ah, no, no, wait, wait, what's the safe word? What type of artifact is that? No idea, but it's probably been up an anus. We're almost at the village. Why don't you stuff that bag below deck and get into character? And while you're down there, get us some hand sanitizer. yourselves! Hello there, fine warriors! We are humble Germanic wine merchants, here to engage in some good old-fashioned bartering. We bring the rarest wine in all of the lands. The more red than the blood of a raven, and bolder than your strongest me mead. Strongest mead! How'd you get through the Roman blockade? Kill the baker's dozen worth of Romans to get up river. Where did you get that head? Stay in character, dammit! We present this token of goodwill, and look forward to discussing terms of trade. Ah, come! We'll bring you before the Queen! There's our mark. Howdy, gentlemen! I haven't seen you two fellas before. Whoa, cool hats! Nobody told me it was fashion week! <laughs> I like your hooves, mister! What's it like being half a horse? Ignore that one! He brings good fortune, but a talker, damn hero. It's been many moons since we've had wine dealers around these parts. Those Roman pigs block all traders from coming to our lands. Romans. Subhuman scum. Not worth the air they breathe. Bit much, no? Of that we're in agreement. Bring us the meat! Right away. Shall I bring a fresh assortment of cheeses to pair with the meat? Just the meat, Michael! Oh, nobody wants my cheeses. Now sit. Let's talk terms. <laughs> so then I said, I'm not your uncle, and you're going to boarding school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what do you think of that price, Your Majesty? To be honest... It's a splendid price. You have yourself a deal. Now we bring them the wine. These alcoholics will polish it off faster than you can say howdy doody. Then we make our move on the Yeti. Easy peasy. These men are not who they say they are. They be poachers from Rome. Now, now, hang on. That could be anyone's book on exotic creatures. I think they're on to us. I can't believe I'm going to die for a fashion statement. Oh boy, they are going to execute your friend big time. I wonder how they'll do it. Only the wheel will tell. Quit your rambling, I'm trying to think! Oh man, and they're gonna sell you to the elves? Oh, that's rough, buddy. They'll saddle you up and put you on the derby circuit. Shut the fuck up! Let's show this boy how we deal with Roman poachers! <laughs> A 
anything but that? No oh, rats. That's cheating. Oh. Before we execute this heathen, let's fill our cups. Nothing pairs with the shrieks of decapitation like an oaky cabernet. I pair cabernets with aged cheddars for a more compact experience. Shut up, Michael! Yes, yes, drink. Drink, you drunken fools. Two dead Romans and fine wine. Lower your drinks! Poison. The tool of cowards. Oh, Maddie. I don't think I'm gonna make it home this time. I should have moved to the underworld when you asked me to. We had our whole lives planned. The house on the fire lake with the black picket fence. I wonder what you're doing right now. Execute him! <laughs> I think that horseman's buying it at Skinny Kid. Oh, 100%. Centaurs have no morals. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the most disturbing thing I have ever seen. Oh, this is nothing. I saw this play once called Two Elves, One Cup. <laughs> you won't believe what- Listen, you. You're coming with us. We need your fur. No need for kidnapping. Free me and it's all yours. Well, that was easy. The metal's frozen. It won't budge. Step aside. Careful with that thing. We haven't been formally introduced. I'm Steven, the last in a long line of yetis. Enough small talk, Steven. Step back. Now that I'm free, I'm gonna find a way to repopulate the Yeti race. Maybe if I breed with a polar bear. Oh, or what about- Oh, damn it, the fur is ruined. That's what you care about? We killed the last Yeti in existence for some petty rich lady. To be honest, I was planning on killing him from the jump. I don't know how you've done this job so long. I... I feel dead on the inside. Well, when we show up in Rome without the fur, you'll be dead on the outside. <laughs> no. No, we're not doing it. You've cleaned up well. Only for you, Maddie. Oh my! A great snow yeti fur! I thought it was legend! Was it difficult to acquire? Was no trouble at all. Breathtaking! Softer than Cupid's bottom! You told me this was the rarest fur in the Empire! You embarrass me! I... it, it is! It... it was! Nothing but a common garment fit for a plebe. Make way! Ha ha ha! Piping hot goose. 